If you want to know how to replace the RAM in your QNAP TVS 672 XT, then watch this video. In this video, we'll be replacing the 8 gigs of RAM that came with this drive with two 16 gigabyte modules from Crucial. I got these on Amazon. Uh, these are the same ones I used for my Synology in one of my other videos. And if you're interested in buying these, make sure you check out the description below so you can get these exact same ones. The first thing you want to do is remove the existing RAM. And you want to remove the clips or move this clips to the side on each side of the RAM modules. And once you do that, it'll just pop right out and angle out. And you just simply pop it out. If you take a look at this, this is a four gig module from Kingston. And the reason why I'm replacing these is because I believe it's the cause of my random reboots. In fact, ever since I replaced this RAM, my hard drive hasn't been rebooting. You want to remove the second DIMM in the same manner. Just go with one clip at a time. Now you'll find that the fifth and sixth bay may not be enough. So you want to go ahead and remove the fourth bay to make room. So essentially you're removing three drives. And just keep in mind you want to keep them in the same order. Just in case. At least you had to do that with the Synology. Now you can easily access it and take it out. Here's the other RAM. It's also Kingston. And usually they install these in pairs. Let's go ahead and match the notch from the new RAM and install the second one first. So just go ahead and go in at an angle and it pops right in. Now let's take the uh, second RAM from the packaging here. Again, it's also from Crucial by Micron. It's a 16 gigabyte module. And in the same manner, just angle that in and then push it so that both sides of the retainer clips are in place. And that's all you have to do. Now go ahead, replace the drives in the same order. Here's drive number four. Go ahead and close that and then lock it. Let's switch over to drive five. These are the uh, Iron Wolf six terabytes. And the last one for number six. It's just that simple. Let's go ahead and save the original sticks. And put it in the packaging that came with the Crucial. And then let's check the memory in QTS. Okay, once we've booted up, log into QTS. And it, takes, it took a while to boot because I've changed the memory. But once it started, the first thing I checked was my event notifications. You can see that my volume is synchronizing because it did not shut down properly. It was literally just rebooting every once in a while. It was driving me nuts. And it also causes my synchronization to start from our raid group. And it takes eight hours to synchronize. Now I'm checking the resource mo uh, monitor. And you can see that now it's only utilizing 4% versus 17% on the left. I'll put some before and after shots here for my screenshots. And let's log into the control panel and take a look that we're used. We have 32 gigs of RAM. And if we check the hardware, and then head over to resource monitor we're using 1.35 and you can see that I just started up so there's not much being used here. In fact, all I use my drive for is for storing my videos, my photos, and my music. It was the restarts that really caused me to just go ahead and replace it. 
I was thinking about using the old RAM and putting in my 472 XT, but I ordered another set of 16 gigabytes, a pair of 16 gigabyte crucials to install in that one as well. And I'll make a separate video for that. All right, so taking a look at the system status, you can see that we've got 32 gigs available here. And if we look at the before, we had eight gigabytes. Clicking onto the hardware information, you see that it recognizes the 16 gigs and it does recognize the brand, which is pretty surprising. It's by Crucial in both slots. And then if you look on the right, it's the four gigabyte Kingston. Pretty cool. Well, that wraps up the installation. I hope this was helpful for you. And if it was, hit that like button and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.